trying to get the edge of this correct so we glue our pieces on. They only go up to here, so my flat spot has to reach there on this piece, like this. So, and this is a good way to mark it. go straight to into here. So we just put this on here like this. Put our pencil back in. Here. That should be our height or our, our edge. Looks pretty good. I have to cut this out though. First. going to be the extremities of our taper. Whoops, I don't want to go too fast. drill bit can go in there, wherever. Somewhere. Pencil. Here. That's our edging right there. You can use a marker or a pencil or anything. We're up to there already, so this has to fit here, like this, no, like this, yeah, it goes down there, or up here somewhere, this piece, <coughs> as long as it's wide enough. But this has to be fit in here, with a little, let's see, it's got to be cut in little smaller pieces, maybe, to fit on this here. all the way up to there. This ties into here like that. Just like that. So this has to be wide enough to cover here. Right there, like, like so. Well, this way. So if the top fit these, and they're fitting pretty good. See, they're getting blue all over the place. So we'll continue. sanding thing. Keep doing that until it's perfect. Right up to the edge. Right there. It has to fit good. So, we'll continue and get all these panels fit to there and then we'll uh, glue them on.
pretty good. Okay, lay it right down in there. Pull it away a little bit. There. Push this pin down. Yes. Is it new again? Yeah. Okay. Is it going down? No. At least always here, slid it over. I didn't expect that. That's good. <laughs> Want this anywhere? No. No. Looks good. Looks very good. Very good. <laughs> Everything is just cooled down tight. I'll get some hot water and wash it. Pin block. 33B. <clears throat> Let's see. This is uh, pictures tell a thousand words and movies, well, millions of words. Um, so here's what we have here is the old pin block part of it. This is the base that we now replace with a multi laminate block, which is probably better than that, no doubt, more stable. And we made this piece new also with another multi laminate pin block. It took two pin blocks almost to do this. And uh, we glued that to there. And these are now what we're working on are these pieces, this cap piece, which is the most important to put on. Um, and there it is over there. Project. And you can see this is our base, and this is the other pin block, and we grafted it onto the original stretcher here, glued right to it there. And now that this whole piece, this whole base piece, fits in the piano perfectly right where I want it, we have to fit these caps on. These came from an old Steinway upright, and we machined them uh, down to this thickness. they got to go a little more. They're a little thick, but you can always take some off, right? And this stuff is going to go in place of these. Wow. Good thing we could get this apart like this. We can see how it's made and where it ends, so we can duplicate it. And <clears throat> gotta take it down a little more. This one here on the original over there, that piece is a little bit thinner here. And I don't want to make this any thicker, thinner if anything, because we want to get more of this end grain cap in here, this material. This fits right here like this. Of course, the hole is going to miss that. If this is salvage material. Don't forget, this this maple here is like from 1890s or so. And uh, for some good stuff. Oh, boy. Is it ever. So we're going to fit these on here. We have to chalk fit them. And it's going to replace this shattered piece here. this material.
we're going to fit this first, like I said. We're going to put this in the piano, in the case, and then put the plate in and see how it matches up to it here. Jeez, I wish they had left this wider. This is the only thing that supports all of the tuning pin pressure. This whole pin block wants to just fly towards the strings, but this stops it. And I wish they had left this a little bit wider to support that pressure. So here we go. We're going to get rid of these. Replace this with these. And then... Down here. Look how these things fit. That fits there. Nice. That's the original piece. Hmm, fits pretty good. It even lines up with the front here. It's nice to have these pieces. Now this base piece here. Here are my reference holes that I drilled before we took it apart. And of course this one lines up with that there. Lines up nice here. But it looks like there's a piece missing here, but there isn't. That fits there, and that fits there. So this piece shrunk that much. It's supposed to be here. Like that. So, wow, it shrunk this way a great deal. Because these parts are fitting real good down here. Look at that. Even that little corner fits good. And we're going to replace this, of course, with some of this cap material. This shattered piece. Hmm. They didn't go out of their way to make sure this stuff here was quarter sun. Which makes me wonder. The grain on this is laying almost flat. Like a piece of log that went this way. <laughs> Alright, this piece here, look at how nice this fits, you know. It's the original holes, the reference holes I drilled. And they still go there. See, it doesn't shrink on the end grain. I mean, that still fits tight there. And over here, it's perfect. Amazing. So we're going to replace this piece with this multi-laminated maple block. There. I've got a lot to a lot to chew off here. It has to be that thick. Hmm. I did this over here with a chainsaw. Okay, I didn't show that, but it, it worked really well. Because this wood is very difficult to machine off. It's stubborn because of the grain direction changes in the, in the layers. So, well, uh, I think I can pass that through the bandsaw, though. It has to be made this thick, though. See? Thin here. <laughs> so, we're going to do that first. We'll get this fit and glue it in, and then we'll see how it matches up to the pin, I mean, to the plate over there. Aye, aye, aye. Another part of the pin block fitting. This piece here I'm going to put in. I decided to put it in now. And when we put this assembly, just set it there into the case. And then we're going to drop the plate in to uh, make sure it fits right. And what I'm hoping is, while all this assembly is in the piano, and maybe even if, no, I can't glue this in. This has to be up for the drill press. But anyways, uh, what I'm hoping is I can fit these top pieces to the plate while it's all in there by sliding the pieces in this way down to the plate. And it'll be easy to fit them that way. So I just cut this in half on the bandsaw. And now I have to shape it like this, which will be pretty easy. 
gluing it in here it'll hold it in place too okay that's next all right we're gluing this on thought we'd show it it's just very simple good and warm here good and hot I don't have all my clamps ready, so I have most of them ready. So we got the glue ready, and that's what's important. Here, here. Mm -hmm. Nice glue. Make sure we got enough in here. Better too much than too little. Very nice. There we go. Put a little one here, like so. Just to draw that in. And this one here. Whoa! There we go. Make sure it's this way. And it is. This one can go here. Whoops. Um, push it over like this. Pull this out like so. No need to clamp the whole bench in there. And I had this clamp designated for another spot, but I'm going to run and get one. It's supposed to go here, but I can put this one here right now. There. Okay, I'm going to put one here. I'm going to get another one like this and put it here, and then just wash the glue after. That's it. Right now, I just finished fitting this joint here all along the whole length. It wasn't so easy. I had little, little gaps in here, and I filled them with hard maple veneer and glue, and that's going to be hard as heck. And what this does, this has to be mounted on here now. Hmm, I gotta make it a little thinner now. See, so I gotta take this down a little bit. So this is a little bit lower than this. Um, like over here. These are perfect. See, you got room for the veneer on top of this. There's a there's a veneer that goes crossway on top of here. A little maple veneer with a cross banding. And look how much this shrunk. This, these are the original pieces, you know. This goes here. This is nice to have these pieces. You see how they're made. It's kind of difficult here. This, this swoops in and gets flat with the top of this. And we have to fit these in here. It's going to make it easier to fit these, though. Then we'll glue them down. As, as we progress across, I'm going to fit these to this, this face right here. I'll mate them up, our little pieces here. And these have to be fit in here like this. Now what's good about this is I can lift the pin block up, I mean the plate. I can lift the plate up high enough to slide this under it. And I'm pretty sure I can get a profile line right here on top of this. That would make it easier. Uh, there's just a diff couple different ways. And what's going to be problematic is these things. They have to go under here like this. So I'm going to have to slide them in to, from the side. My pieces here. This has to be thinned out and slide under there. Well, let me get to that. So this goes here. This goes here. And I need the screws that go here. You see these two screws, one here and one on the other end, they were underneath the pin block cap. We couldn't get them out without breaking this apart when we were able to get it apart after. 
but uh, we ended up cutting these screws right here. They go in there, and we were able to pry up the pin block a little bit and put a saw between there, and we cut those screws off. So I don't have them anymore. I'm going to go over here and get some. Screws, screws, and more screws. When you need one, this is where we go. We have to replace a couple broken screws in this piano. Here it is here. We need two of those. I think we have the replacements right here. Yep, pretty good. Probably about as old as the piano, not quite. But these will work. And they go over here. In this piano. Pin block saga. One goes here. And one goes over here. This is what happened when we were taking this apart. This this screw was not visible. It was underneath this part still. And this whole thing came out in one piece. And we had to reach underneath here to cut these screws off. We just snapped them off. There was not any other way to get them out, it seems. And we now have replacements. Luckily, those will be going there nice. And what we're doing is, uh, I'm going to give the camera to my assistant here. Just for a moment. Um, this is the old pin block, of course. Yeah, well, we had to duplicate this, and this is our, our base. I like to call it the base. It is in place where it's going to be. This face is a supporting face right there. Everything bucks against there. And these are the pieces I have to make now. So. Um, what I have to do here is, first of all, this has to be taken down to this thickness, right there, like that, so it's level with this. Over here it is, but we just have to take a little more off, that's all, so this whole thing just pulls right out. Um, but we have to make these pieces and fit them in here, and they fit under here see where the screw holes are kind of complex an angle and then this is flattened out to match the giant piece that goes on here and we have all our little pieces made these have to be chalk fit bucked up against there like that it'll be easy though to do this piece by piece as we move along We'll be able to use this as a reference and make our line on here and then cut it with a bandsaw. And after these are glued in, we'll just shave this off level with the top. But it's going to be a little time consuming. It's not as bad as I thought. Down here is the correct thickness. And if you move over here and look at this here. It's a good thing we have the old pieces. Here's the old piece that was in here have a reference as to how to make it and this is kind of kind of tricky in here we got we got a step and it's plain flat and it's kind of swoops in like this and over here it ends up against here with a, with a flat look at how much this shrunk this was one piece once this is where it's supposed to be, right there, in that hole. Pretty accurate. But this goes over here. That's how much this piece of wood has shrunk. Huh. Like that. So it's missing almost a half an inch or a quarter inch missing, shrunk. So anyways, that's what we're doing next. And then of course the veneer goes on top of here like this. 
decorative veneer goes on top of it all. Somewhere like this, yeah, that's all that's left to it. We have to keep it for reference forever and ever. Okay, so that's what we're doing next. I'm gonna fit these and glue them in as I progress along. I've got to get them underneath here. It's gonna be kind of tricky. That's it.